what is the nature of this life? Now, uh, how to raise this consciousness? See, it's like this. When I came, these lights were dazzling, too much light. So I said like this, now somebody turns down the voltage and became dim. Suppose there is a light here with very low voltage, everything else is off, just one light. What do you see? You see only this piece, one little patch. We turned up the voltage a little bit, then you saw that much, oh, five people are sitting here. Turned up the voltage, suddenly, oh, so many people are sitting here. All these people did not exist in your experience. When? The voltage was low. Light was showing only this much, you did not see all this. They're all living people, but you did not see. So, consciousness is not an act. Consciousness is not something that you can artificially pump up. To be aware is to be alive. How do you know that you're alive right now? Only because you're aware to some extent, isn't it? Suppose you fell asleep right now, right here, would you know whether you're alive or dead? We know, but would you know? You do not know, isn't it? When you fall asleep, maybe you're dead, you do not know. Only from outside, because we see you breathing, we know, okay, she's alive, she's only sleeping. But in your experience, you do not even know whether you're alive or dead, isn't it? So now you know you're alive, how? Because you're little aware. If you become little more aware, you would know many more things. If you become much more aware, you would know many, many more things. For this, you don't try to be aware. You just need to turn up the voltage. For this, there is an established scientific process. How to turn up the voltage to the highest possible level so that everything that we can know about this life, we know naturally because it's all lit up. Nothing is hiding, everything is lit up so we can see everything. Suppose there's little light here, we can see her little dark patch here, we cannot see them, yes or no? Now properly lit place, you can see everything that's here. Does it take an effort? Hello? Does it take an effort? Where is this person? Where is that person? Does it take an effort? No. It's well lit, you simply see. So consciousness means just this, you are well lit inside. So you see everything just the way it is. It's in this context the word light is used. Enlightenment means you're fully lit up within yourself. You may not see the light bulbs, but you're lit up. So within yourself you see everything that you need to see. Once you know this piece of life entirely, everything in the existence you know because you know everything in the existence only the way it happens within you, isn't it so? Do you see me right now? Hello? Even if you're not listening. Do you see me? Huh? Yes. Just use one hand and point out where I am. You're getting it wrong, you know. I am a mystic, you know <laughs> Now this light is falling upon me, reflecting, going through your lenses, inverted image in the retina. You know the entire story, isn't it? Where do you see me right now? Within yourself. Where do you hear me right now? Within yourself. Where have you seen the whole world? Within yourself. Have you ever experienced anything outside of yourself? No. Have you? Have you ever experienced anything outside of yourself? Light and darkness is happening within you. Sound and silence is happening within you. Joy and misery is happening within you. Agony and ecstasy is happening within you. You have never experienced anything outside of you, is that so? Did you experience something here? No. You experience everything the way it happened within you. Even right now somebody next to you touches your hand, if someone touches your hand, you think you're experiencing their hand. No, you're only experiencing the sensations in your hand, isn't it? So in the very nature of things, you can never ever experience anything other than yourself. You think you're seeing the stars, no. You're seeing it only the way it's projected in the firmament of your mind, isn't it? 
you don't know how the stars are, you know it only the way it's happening within you. Yes or no? So if you want to know this better, you don't read a scripture, you don't listen to other people's discourses, you work to sharpen your perception so that you see things clearly. Now, the world is reflecting itself in the mirror of your mind. Now the only thing you need to do is, right now your mirror is little wonky. Have you ever seen yourself in a convex, concave or distorted mirror? You go stand there, you look like this. Suppose you… that is the kind of mirror you have in your bathroom, bedroom, every place. After some time you would really start believing this is how I am, isn't it? Yes or no? So you make sure you get a plain mirror so that you can see your face just the way it is, isn't it? So this is all the work is, to get your mind to a place that no grime is sticking on it, it is a plain mirror. So if you hold it, it just shows everything just the way it is, no distortion. If you see everything just the way it is, would you navigate your life effortlessly? Hmm? That's all, isn't it?